Today, FC Twente Stadium, the site for our second semifinal, and it is the latest confrontation between the Azuri, the reigning European champs, prove they belong in this final four. By topping a group, Audrey and Spain seek to reach their second straight Nations League final. A year and a half ago, they ousted Italy in this lost on penalties to Morocco, and many calling for, look, I think the Spanish team needs to evolve past this tiki-taka, or... And so that, that's not always the easiest thing to have. So we are seeing a transition for both of these teams, to be quite honest. But they find themselves in a semifinal with a trophy on the line and the opportunity for that money shot at the end of the weekend to raise it up. Mix of youth and experience on that Spanish roster, but a little thin up top. That's where the big question marks are. They are unbeaten, though, in four straight games versus Italy. It is Spain, number 10 in the world rankings, and Italy at number 8. It is the UEFA Nations League semifinal. Netherlands, it is mid 70s. But a good atmosphere traveling Italians and Spaniards into Grosvesta. And we are. We'll put that one too far. Under pressure, loses out. Chance for Spain and the opening goal. Jeremy Pino, in just his 10th ever appearance for Spain, has given them the lead inside three minutes. the most experienced player on the field, Leonardo Panucci, 121st appearance. Not a great ball in from Donnarumma, puts him under pressure. Gavi's the first one to get there. One of the things we saw already early in this game is how both teams are pressing. You know, to the far side, Lorenzo playing it in, and that was a loose touch there. Tagnolo couldn't control. Tagnolo plays it wide, Spinazzola has it now, working on Navas, he'll clip that up at the back post. There's no one there on a white shirt. Again, trying to clip that one up. Simone was coming forward, attack backwards for Morris again. Benucci was all over the place. Gavi trying to control and return. Good tackle by Deloy. Gina trying to clip that one up. That was outside of the foot. That might be a penalty there. Lenormand, and it is. It's a penalty. Levels the score. Chiro Immobile who get the start up front. Many thought Mategi was going to potentially play, scored in his first two appearances, but it's Chiro Immobile steps up and just a calm. Like it's Spinazzola. That will be a foul with Arts and Field. Line for Jesus Navas. Spinazzola comes to meet him. Navas cuts it inside, lets it go, just over Aroma's crossbar. Get a cross in. It's rolled in now. It's Rodrigo. And to the traffic, but a comfortable save for Donnarumma, his first of the game. Yeah. Now with the relegation to the top, it goes, and good strength to get there, and Italy have taken the lead. Davide Fratese on the ball over the top, and the Italians have come from behind to go in front. Get back, and just by a, I don't know, armpit hair, maybe? It's an well, it's going to hook that to the back post, and that was just too tall for Gavi. Five foot eight rising up for that one. Bonta takes a bit of a bump there. No foul on Bonucci. That one twizzled. I mean, Bonucci forced to spin it around to keep it. Picked up by Jordi Alba. Down the other end. Not the long distance shot. With well, it, here's Jesus Navas. He'll whip that cross in. Comes straight up in the air from Jorginho, and that will be another Spain corner to win the header. Alba tries to set up that Rodrigo slips and then falls on the ball. <laughs> nice try. In there, who's going to pick it up? Oh, trying to return. It was Barella, in fact, and Mobile couldn't get there. Lenormand Normal able to make the play. Minutes further on, very narrow offside decision from the semi automated technology. Now, is that call going to go the same way? That will be a foul on Gavi. Mobile now with options in the middle. It's going to be a long run to get there for Barella, and he runs out of room. 
swinging ball. It came and pinged around in there. Spinazzola's it puts it in the back of the net. Jordi Alba's cross will bounce all the way through. And sometimes Eckenberg comes to Toss for Gavi there off an Italian foot. First time attempt there from Morata is the third save from Donnarumma. Continue foul there by Gavi. Cross in now. It was set away by Marino and then just missing the top corner there on the volley. It was Rafael. It goes again. We get a winner potentially in normal time, maybe in extra time when all is said and done between these two nations, Stu. Yeah, I'm wondering and, and just how Italy's shape are right now. Let's see if you know, how they look. It looks like attack. Andrew thought about it. Asensio instead. He'll clip that one up. Late run right in front. How did Donnarumma make that oh. save? And Morata puts it wide. That was more. He's coming off of the salt season with Real Madrid. Back to back 12 goal seasons in all competitions. That was Morata. Picking to Lloyd. Jordi Alba. Donnarumma didn't get enough on that, and the overhead is just over by Rodri. And the referee. Lloyd track back. Spain went it right back, though. It's Morata. Closed down. Oh, too many touches from a bit behind Gavi there. Spence open up for him in there. I think he's going to pick foul. up a yellow. Yeah, that, that's an unnecessary yellow. I know what he's going to miss hit that. It floated up in the air. It's going to be an offside decision. Substitution for Italy. Number 72, Romine, is being replaced by... Marino rolling it back in. Jeremy Pino rolling out with options in the box. He'll send that cross right in the middle. What a save by Ole Simon. Fratesi there popping up. Oh, good. In Rotterdam live on the Fox Network. Who outlast Reno rolling it in? Morata has controlled it out. Morella wants it, not going to get it to Marco. Whips it across oh. for Di Lorenzo. Did that come off Jordi Alba? Sufati is being replaced. Still this at the age of 12. Leon once again, again Jordi Alba. It's a two man game. He cuts it into the middle and just wide of the near post. That was Morata in there. I think it took it. Morata. It's being replaced by number 20, Jose Lu. Knocked away, a chair being fired back in by Rodri, deflected, and the final touch from Jose Lu. We'll see about the offside decision. Spain are celebrating as if they've won it late. in a very similar fashion to السلام عليكم اهلا بيكم في فيديو جديد معاكم حليم وفي فيديو النهارده يا جماعه جاي اتكلم معاكم عن تالق المنتخبات العربيه في كاس اسيا تحت 17 سنه لو انتم مش عارفين يا جماعه في حاليا كاس اسيا تحت 17 سنه شغاله وكان في منتخبات عربيه كتير جدا مشاركه فيها زي اليمن ومنتخبات عربيه تانية زي السعوديه وغيرها وفي تالق كبير جدا جدا من المنتخبات كلها تحديدا منتخب اليمن منتخب اليمن لسه كسب امبارح ماليزيا نتيجة 4-0 وانتم متخيلين النتيجة 4-0 كاس اسيا ماليزيا منتخب مش تعبان نهائيا منتخب شغال يعني منتخب اليمن زي ما احنا عارفين هو منتخب بيعاني حاليا لان الدولة بتعاني وطبعا في حالة حرب ولكن منتخب الكرة بيوريك قد ايه ان هو بيحاول يشتغل على نفسه يحاول يكسب الحلم اللي يقدر عليه بجد ريسبكت فور اول في اليمن وكده و يعني بكل بساطة ربنا يوفقهم ويوفق كل المنتخبات العربية في كاس اسيا ويكون صعب الكاس منتخب عرب اللي الواحد عايزه يعني مش اكتر فا بس يا جماعة ده كان فيديو هوت ما تنسوش يا جماعة لايك وشير وسبسكرايب كان معاكم حليب الفيديو الجاي سلام